O my house, unto the fullest. Eat my bread and drink my wine, and round my bed is out from Today we celebrate the feast day of Saint Deacon, Saint Lawrence, the Deacon and the Martyr. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary and the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. You were not on the first time. 
our God, giver of that ardor of love for you, by which Saint Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, grant that we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Each one must do as he has made up his mind, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver, and God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that you may always have enough of everything, and may provide in abundance for every good work. As it is written, He scatters abroad, He gives to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. He who supplies seed to the sower and bread for the food, will supply and multiply your resources, and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. Blessed the man who fears the Lord and takes great delight in his commandments. His descendants shall be powerful on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He will never be moved, forever shall the just be remembered. He has no fear of evil news, with a firm heart he trusts in the law. With a steadfast heart he will not fear, he will see the downfall of his foes. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. Open-handed he gives to the poor, his justice stands firm forever, his might shall be exalted in glory. It goes well for the man who deals generously and lends. Alleluia, ah, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. He who follows me will have the light of life. Alleluia, ah, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, 
Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. He who loves his life loses it, and he who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there shall my servant be also. If anyone serves me, the Father will honour him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Lawrence Outside the Walls is a beautiful and ancient church of Rome. It is not the first church on that spot. Of the place where St. Lawrence was buried, the Emperor Constantine built a small oratory. Later popes enhanced it, built new churches on that spot until we had the latest church as it stands today. St. Lawrence was one of the seven official deacons of Rome. He was embraced by the Church at Rome as one of its own in his martyrdom. What he has to teach us abides through the ages and pertains to the Church throughout the world. The most famous story about St. Lawrence occurred during the persecution of the Church in the year 258. He received word that the government was going to confiscate all the valuable goods of the Church, and the government demanded that St. Lawrence bring to them all the treasures of the Church. St. Lawrence was in the administrative position to sell all those goods and gave the money as assistance to the poor. When the government officials arrived, he pointed to the poor and said, These are the treasures of the church. So he was arrested and burned to death. And then the other famous thing about him is that while they were burning him, he said, I'm cooked now on this side, you can turn me over. The truth that St. Lawrence spoke is important for all of us to hear. The strength and vigour of the Church resides in its people and in how deeply they live the Gospel. We can visit ancient old cities and see magnificent churches where very few, if any, may come to Mass. There is no longer a community of believers there. The churches may be tourist attractions, but the church is not there. Conversely, we can find in the suburbs of many cities small churches with passable architecture, but which are filled on Sunday. The church is there. All of the great works of art owned by the church are retained because they can inspire people and lead to a conversion of life. They can bring people to die to self and enable them to rise anew open to God's will. The treasures of the Church are changed lives and souls reclaimed for Christ. This story about St. Lawrence has come down to us to remind us of the Church's main purpose, which is to help and to enable people to become like Christ. 
as an old saying put it, the salvation of souls is the supreme law. The Church is as rich as is the faith of its people. As we rejoice to share with St. Lawrence the faith that he professed at so high a cost, let us turn our thoughts and prayers to the needs of all people, believers and not. That the Church, corporate witness to Christ and all he stood for, may be united in courageously presenting to the world the good news of freedom from sin and death. Lord, graciously hear us. That world leaders might be inspired to set their hearts not on power, but on every opportunity for service of the weak and the oppressed. Lord, graciously hear us. For the churches that persecution forces into silence, that their faith may realize that mustard seeds too grow in silence. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us remember those who are tortured and dehumanized by instruments of violent power, the victims and the oppressors, that the sword may swiftly be returned to the scabbard and the wounds of hatred closed. Lord, graciously hear us. Our thoughts turn more over to those who feel there is nothing worth living or fighting for, that on them Christ may shed a ray of his light to dispel that gloom and warm that indifference into love. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us implore God's protective and enlightening blessing on all organisations and persons who strive for the more effective preservation of human rights and personal and family dignity. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord our God, may the lives of your holy ones inspire us to greater endeavour in the service of your people. May our lives be abundant in good works, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. 
Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive with favour, O Lord, the offerings we joyfully made on the feast day of Saint Lawrence, and grant that they become a help to our salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr Lawrence, poured out by Christ to glory by your name, shows forth your marvellous words, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty, without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the beautiful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
in the summer away when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, say, my Savior of the Lord, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Abula our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the Resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is. this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, 
who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those of you who cannot receive Holy Communion right now, I invite you to pray with me this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already dead, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of beautiful servants, which we render on the feast of Saint Lawrence, may bring us an increase of your saving grace, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the hour of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke if we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Christ our Lord, with love in from the cross his lesson taught to love all men as I have loved you. All I am and all I do, I give to you. Join with me as one in Christ's love. May our hearts all be as one, and may we give ourselves completely, all I own and all I do, I give to you.